हेलो एवरीवन आई एम प्रवीण बी आर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम साई विद्या इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी टीचिंग यू इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लैबोरेटरी फॉर थर्ड सेमेस्टर ट्रिपल ई स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न रिंग काउंटर एंड जॉनसन काउंटर द एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू डू द वायरिंग एंड टेस्टिंग ऑफ रिंग एंड जॉनसन काउंटर Before we start with the experiment, let us learn what is a Johnson counter and a ring counter. A ring counter is a circular shift register with only one flip flop being set at any point of time when all others are cleared. The single bit is shifted from the flip flop to the other to produce the sequence of timing signals. The initial value of the register is one. 0 0 0 the single bit is shifted right with every clock pulse and circulates back from qd to qa the ring counter the ic used is ic 7495 which is a 14 pin ic in which the 14th pin is connected to vcc and 7th pin is connected to ground there are four inputs a b c d and four outputs q a q b q c and q d there are two clock signals clock 1 and clock 2 which are shorted to each other and given to a clock input there is a serial input which is connected to the q d here which is connected to the first pin now the applications of the ring counter the ring counter is used to count the data in a continuous loop they are also used to detect the various numbers values or various pattern within a set of information by connecting and or or logic gates to the ring counter circuits so now let us see the verification of the ring counter This is the IC seven four nine five, which is used for the ring counter. In this IC, there are four inputs A, B, C, and D, which are connected to the input two, three, four, and five. The sixth pin here is connected to the mode control. Whenever the mode control is high. it indicates that it is parallelly transmitting the information whenever it is zero it indicates that it is transmitting serially now we have the clock signal the clock signal is connected to this is the clock signal which is connected to eighth pin and eighth and the ninth pin are shorted to each other and here the first pin is connected to the qd these are the connections for the ring counter now let us move to the uh, ring counter verification operation so first i switch on the trainer kit after turning on the trainer kit after turning on the trainer kit i apply the mode control i give it as high and i apply the signal you can observe that the parallel operation takes place so when mode 1 when mode control is high it indicates that the signal is transmitted parallelly now i apply the clock pulse and i turn off the mode control every time i apply the clock pulse now i apply the clock pulse when i apply the clock pulse you can find that the one shifts to the right at the time of applying the clock pulse in the form of a ring hence the counter is called as the ring counter experiment so for the first clock pulse you can observe when the clock pulse is 1 you can observe it is 0 1 0 0 when i apply the second time the clock pulse 
it is 0, 0, 1, 0. The third time when I apply the clock pulse, it is 0, 0, 0, 1. When I apply the clock pulse for the fourth time, it is 1, 0, 0, 0. The fifth time when I apply the clock pulse, it is 0, 1, 0, 0. The sixth time when I apply the clock pulse, it is 0, 0, 1, 0. The seventh time when I apply the clock pulse, it is 0, 0, 0, 1. Hence, we have verified the ring counter experiment. So, let us do the second part of the experiment that is the Johnson counter. So, what is a Johnson counter? It is a twisted ring counter uh, which is like a ring counter except that the complement of the output of the last flip-flop is connected to the input of the first flip-flop. The register here shifts the contents once to the right with every clock pulse and at the same time the complement value of the rightmost flip-flop is transferred into the leftmost flip-flop. Where are Johnson counters applied? Johnson counters are applied in synchronous decayed counter or in divider circuit. It is also used in hardware logic design to create complicated finite states machine. The three stage Johnson counter is used as a three phase square wave generator which are used to produce the phase shift operation of 120 degree phase shift. Now, coming to the Johnson counter. Here you are shifting the zeros to the right. So let us see what are the things that we are going to use in Johnson counter. We are going to use IC7495 which is same as the IC which we have used for the ring counter. Only thing we are going to use is an extra IC that is 7404 which is a NOT gate IC. The NOT gate is connected in such a way that one of the inputs of the NOT gate is connected to QD and another input is connected to the signal 1. That is the output of the NOT gate is connected to the signal 1 of the IC7495. So the in the trainer kit, so coming to the trainer kit here, this is the 7495 IC which we have already connected which remains the same. Only changes what you can see here is I am using this IC that is 7404 where the 7th pin is connected to the ground and 14th pin is connected to the VCC whereas the input to the NOT gate is connected to the QD of the signal. The output of the NOT gate is connected to the first pin of 7495. So now let us verify the Johnson counter truth table. Before we verify, before we start with the experiment, let us understand the importance of the mode control. So in this, this is the mode control switch. Whenever the mode control switch is high, the input gets transmitted. The information what I am transmitting from the input will get uh, parallelly transmitted to the output. Whenever the mode control is zero, it is serially going to transmit the information. So, we will switch on the trainer kit first. After switching on the trainer kit, we are going to give the mode control high. After giving the mode control high, we are going to transmit the signal. So, we press the clock signal, apply the clock signal. You can observe that the signal is getting transmitted. After the signal has got transmitted, the mode control is brought back to the low position. Now, I am transmitting it serially. So, again, I press the clock signal. You can observe that the zeros will get shifted. So, this is how the zeros get shifted. So, let us verify the truth table. So, it is 0, 0, 0 when the clock pulse is 0. When I click when I give apply the clock pulse, it is going to show 1, 0, 0, 0. For the second clock pulse, you can observe it is 1, 1, 0, 0. For the third clock pulse, you can observe it is 1, 1, 1, 0. For the fourth clock pulse, you can observe it is 1, 1, 1, 1. For the fifth clock pulse, it is 0, 1, 1, 1. For the next clock pulse, it is 0011. 
for the next clock pulse it is 0 0 0 1 and for the last clock pulse it comes back to the zeroth state. Hence we have verified the ring counter and Johnson counter truth table. We have tested it correctly. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you.